Talk to us about some of the assessment tasks that are involved that students will need to complete, of course, to pick up this qualification. Well, I'm going to apologise to the attendees for this scary looking list for a start. And it is a scary looking list. We, we look at it, it just says assessment. Then it's got all these things. No, you, we don't do all of these things in every assessment. As you move through the course, you actually will experience different types of assessment and different types of assessment tasks. So you may do some multiple choice questions, do a quiz, for example. There may be a range of short answer questions. There may be a range of what are known as mid-answer or long answer questions too, which require longer responses, obviously, than a short answer question. There'll be case studies and scenario responses that you, you may either prepare a case study about a specific topic or business or respond to an existing in case study and scenarios which are shorter versions of case study there's projects as part of a project assessment task you might for example create a flow chart you might write a report you might do a research exercise and go and find out as much as you possibly can about a specific topic and build a portfolio of information that you can use as a knowledge bank for your future studies there may be diaries reflection journals there's a whole range of things that we do in projects there is one that comes to mind where we create an info booklet. So like an e like a like a mini ebook with six pages in it that provides information, believe it or not, about cultural diversity and workforce planning. So that's part of one of the assessments in the course. And I mentioned portfolios and research tasks. In this course we don't do role plays as much as they're mentioned here. We do occasionally do practice in some tutorials where we will actually be engaged in fallout groups and we'll explore a topic and then come back as a discussion topic. Practical demonstrations are not required in this course. And I did mention journal and self-reflection exercises before. So how do we structure each assessment? So each assessment usually includes either two or three different types of assessment within the assessment for the unit of study. So you may actually, for example, be asked to answer 12 short answer questions and undertake some project tasks. Or you may be asked to do a research task and create a portfolio. There is another unit where there is a video bank and we ask students to create a range of checklists by utilising the video bank. There's another unit in, in a course where we actually provide video and students actually practice their minute-taking skills for meetings by watching the video. So as I said, there's a wide range of assessment tasks that we use, but often we'll find that the most common ones would be projects, short answer questions, case studies, and journal and self-reflection exercises and portfolios and presentations.